Bell and until then this year the Queen Quinn head on the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation also this year Gullah Geechee TV Nation news station and so glad that the honor still to tune into this year episode where we will reunite the Gullah Geechee diaspora the Gullah, the Geechee, the Seminole, Black Seminole, Afro Seminole, Muscogo all of we the day here together where the honor to talk about where you are in the Bahamas or where you are in Mexico or where you are in Tejas Oklahoma or right up on the Gullah Geechee Nation, we all there yeah, that join together. But well, one part of the story, Hunter might not get it too much about, is that Bahamian connection and thing like that, or Andrews Island and thing like that. So when the Hunter children know when we be going down to Nassau and Freeport, Bahamas and thing like that, we work closely with Dr. Pratt down there for make this your story come together. So this your day, yet he way to tune in and let the other rest of the world know how to track he ain't just been from the land, but been across the sea when people are journeying from the Gullah Geechee Nation and you know them people been no way. All right, children, tune in, yeah. Well, how are the children to do this year? The Queen Quite coming to from this year Underground Railroad Conference here in St. Augustine, Florida. And we're so glad that we got people from around the world and parts of the Gullah Geechee diaspora with the right children. Well, guess what? Many, many years ago, plenty of hundred children be reading the calm when I be going to the Virgin Islands and things like that, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and I be there on St. John and things like that for the Fruit Fly Festival. Well, you know, they've been the cracking teeth with me late. They say, oh, Queen, you have to come back, you have to come back, you have to come back, so we'll come, so we'll come. And I say, well, I want to go to some down on island. Well, God fixed that thing because I'm going to look one say, cry. Now, look who walked up to me with Sister Deborah, okay? Where Sister Deborah asked me for go? Say it, cry. <laughs> How are you wanted to do today? Good, good, I'm good. Excellent, excellent. So yeah. now, it's so wonderful to have someone here at the Underground Railroad Conference representing the Virgin Islands. Because as we've done these conferences over the years, we haven't had a lot of representation from the Virgin Islands. But I was there when Barbara Tagger with this program came and we went there and started looking at things with Denise Georges and it started talking more about the incorporation of the Virgin Islands in the Underground Railroad Network to Freedom. So who do you represent and what made you come to the conference this year? I am with Succeed. It's a community-based organization. Mm -hmm. Succeed is the acronym for St. Croix Unified for Community, Culture, Environment and Economic Development. And basically what we're trying to do, we have two objectives. One is to just help our community to think to embrace smart growth, okay. which is just a holistic way of developing. Right. That takes into account the community's health and its welfare and its history. Yes. You know, with as well as the natural and environment. Yes. <laughs> and then we also try to um, then, you know enhance our geotourism program. Mm, okay. So we work in conjunction with the Department of Tourism okay. and other organizations such as CHAN. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you this yes. uh, walking tour. Walk it's a historic town in, in St. Croix, okay. in Frederickstead. So we have the architecture of Frederickstead um, on this. Mm -hmm. But what I was really so happy to, to meet you is yeah. because um, in a couple of months we're having a commemorative event mm -hmm. to celebrate our maroons because we as well had the maroon experience in St. Croix, in the Virgin Islands, right. where enslaved Africans escaped the injustices and the hardship of slavery and went to an isolated location on the island. Right. And from there, they also migrated to other places. Right. So I'm happy to be here to, you know, get these links. Absolutely. Right. Just hoping that, you know, we want to link up with the people and just share our experiences yes. with this whole underground real world experience. experience. Yes. And you know what's so powerful about this, that you come here to give this, to connect with the Maroons of your country, with all of our other countries, is because the Gullah Geechee Nation actually did a tour reconnecting Gullah Geechee, Seminole, and Maroon. And that was part of our international festival three years ago. And what we did was we went all the way from Carolina, down this coast of Florida, right through here to Fort Mose and St. Augustine, and then continue down to Fort Lauderdale in Miami, where we held the conference and the discussions there, and then we came over to the Bahamas at that time. And so we had a number of maroons from Jamaica and everywhere around the world that we did a dialogue about what they call runaways, what they call maroons, what we call the unconquerable people, which is what the Seminoles are. And so here it is that you will come now and meet us in Florida and say, hey, 
we have maroons and we want to connect and we want you to come to St. Paul. Yes. And it's so powerful and we definitely want to do it and we know you're planning for possibly late August. Yeah, we're early planning September. We're planning that event just to celebrate our maroons and our ancestors right. and also just to help the younger people and everyone in yeah. the community to know right. about this history. Absolutely. So many of us are just going around along with our ordinary everyday lives right. and we're not reaching back and getting yes. the history and the, the resources to go forward with. Yeah. And so we need that. We need that. Like you said, Sam Kofa. Go back and fetch it. Exactly. Right. Because as we say in Gullah if you don't know where Hunter they're from, Hunter ain't going to know where Hunter they're going. And so that is special, it is key, and it is the time. Because throughout the African diaspora, there's so many people saying the same thing you're saying, that we're losing the culture, we've lost the history, the elders didn't tell us because like you said, they had to survive so they went about their daily lives, but not realizing how valuable it is to know your story and then to pass it to the next generation so they value what are you working for in your daily life. So this is so critical what you're saying. Go ahead, sister. Yeah, I just wanted to say, I mean, when I heard um, Bonnie speak, yes, as she was speaking in your... Yeah, yeah in the gala. Yeah, yeah. Gala. yes, I mean, She sounded like she had crew jam. Then I know, then I know. I was like, okay, now, yeah. But true. Uh, you know, so we have a lot of similarities. We do. And, I mean, that's our connection. Because we're all one people, actually. So Definitely. Um, it's really, it's just that coming back together. Coming back say. together, exactly. It's just a family reunion because when I was there on the islands and I only got to go to St. John and St. Thomas, but I was standing, looking across every day at St. John, looking at the different islands, and then I would say, which one is that? And they would say, oh, that one is this one. And I said, well, can I go across? They were like, oh, no, that one, the British one. You have to have your passport. I'm like, I got my passport, you know? And then they say, okay, that one is another one of these, you know, with the U.S. Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands. So now, some people might not know. Which one is St. Croix? Well, St. Croix is um, a U.S. Virgin Islands. We're a territory. Mm -hmm. That means that we are not a state. Right. We are not independent. In other words, a territory would be a colony. Right. So we haven't achieved the status of self-governance yet. We have a semi, we have our own legislature. We elect our own governor. Mm -hmm. But we don't, um, even though we're Americans, we don't vote for the president. Right. We have the same political parties, Democrats and Republicans, mm -hmm. and we would send a uh, representative from each the, uh, party district or party to, to the caucus. To the caucus. And that's how we, we you know, participate in that. But we as residents but you don't get to we, vote. We don't yeah we don't. see so that's so odd that um, yeah. you would and be able to send a rep to the caucus but then you can't vote. Yeah well that's indirectly we would vote for the nominee. But nominally in that right and then that one goes on yeah. to the caucus. But not only that, I mean even as close as we are, like you say you can sit you could stand and look and at look, the other island. That's right. But then there are trading issues because we're two different governments. Right. We're American and, and they're British. British. So right. So there's Political things that keep us apart, but we're doing everything that we can to socially yeah, and politically right. to, 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 stay together, together. to stay together. Right, to stay together. Right, to stay together. And that's so critical because I know so many people have family on one side and the other side, and so they have to go back and forth with a passport to just visit their family members. Yeah. And so we're so glad that Hunter and I need no passport for come visit your family right now <laughs> in this area in the Village Nation. And we're so glad, that, and we know we're going to keep all of our folks tuned in. Make sure you keep up with the Gullah Geechee Nation Facebook fan page because when the dates are announced, definitely we want y'all all to get your plane ticket, get your boat together, sail over wherever you got to do to meet us and say cry. How long are you going to have the event for you? It's probably going to be a three day event where we'll have a ceremony up at Maroon Ridge and then we'll have like a tour of some of our historic areas and then we'll have a professor from Rutgers to come and speak about the economics of. Historic preservation. Oh, I Excellent. And I'm going to be right there with planning right now. Put me to do it. I'm going to have to finish your ceremony. I'm going to do the bridge. So I'm going to have to do it with me and things like that. Not just send the queen dry by yourself and things like that. I'm going to have to come with me and call back to me family and things like that. I'm going to have to get it. Say, take it. Say, we be. So I'm like, I'm going to get it. Y'all get it. Okay then. And so you know when we get you on, it's going to be the same thing. Island water, beautiful people with a yeah. lot of love and things like that and celebration. So we're so glad that this Thank young party you. tracked me and me across the water Amen. so that we are still stand together and stand together for freedom, for we people all unite and work together and we all can succeed 
I love that. Yep. So y'all keep on being blessed, stay strong, and we're so glad that Hunter the Day with me and Hunter the Note this year is what I know. Thank you. Well, how Hunter Children do this year, the Queen Quet coming to Hunter from this year Underground Railroad Conference in St. Augustine, Florida, one more again. Well, look, y'all, look who we got on the couch. Quet! This a seminar day, y'all, the day, y'all. Okay, we got Brother Griffin. Y'all don't see this your face. I'm gonna get your TV Nation news plenty of time. This year the brother Dub Warrior. And I usually see him being Tejas, so you see he's still a cowboy even though he come back Florida. Anyway. <laughs> and then y'all done see Brother Brooke too. A day with we when we were there y'all before and fought more safe. And Hunter No said we would make this whole journey from Carolina down to Florida and over to the Bahamas then. And now we tell you on the children, you will gonna join me one more again for this your program and we bring the whole family back together. Well look where we did there, in La Florida, the same place when we been coming from Carolina, Georgia, and things like that, and, and join together right here and we're gonna fight back with the buck of them who been a try for whole week down and then the other rest broke off and they go on their house and things like that and some is still right in this your Florida and thing like that and they tell Hunter Chillin we ain't there no more. Well Hunter Chillin, you see we well, there we and we ain't going no way. Okay, right. so now Brother Griffin, tell us a little bit about your family background with the Seminoles. My family background started back in the 1800s. My great 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 granddaddy came down from Alabama, Lower Peachtree, Alabama. He came down to Hernando County which is in Central Florida, he came down and he lived with Seminole people. His name was Antonio Sinclair. He lived with Seminole people. He brought his family with him. I think two sons and a daughter. And after a period of time, after his son, Hampton Sinclair, grew up, he married a Seminole woman. Her name was Sally Sinclair. Now the people that settled in that region of Central Florida, Hernando County, they came out of Alabama, they were Creek Indians, and the tribe they came from was called Eufaula, the Eufaulas. And they settled in that area, and they had a village called Chocachatty. Chocachatty means red town, or either, some people say it means brick house. But they settled there, and I think they were dispersed when Andrew Jackson and the Cowettos and Creeks came through to make a raid to steal slaves and uh, capture Seminoles. Mm -hmm. And my great, great, great granddaddy took her to his settlement seven miles away from Chocachatty, and that's when he had children. Right. He was a man, he didn't allow no one up on his property. White, black, red, or yellow. Right. So he, <laughs> he was a man he did not play. He held it down. So right. Also, I'm 15 minutes away from Pelecla Caja, mm -hmm. where Abraham's old town. I've been on archaeological day with Dr. Terrence White, mm -hmm. him and my uh, grandnephew Matthew. We've been on archaeological day there, so that's basically some of my story. I'm a reenactor, and also I'm uh, a speaker on like Seminoles in Central Florida. Excellent. It's my Excellent. pleasure. It is my pleasure to finally meet you. And you know what? All of y'all who are fans of Gullah Geechee TV Nation News, y'all have seen little clips of people, even when I'm in New York City, that run up to me because they say that they watch me on Gullah Geechee TV Nation News. So now we're so glad for be on this year episode, y'all. I had the family, y'all. And guess what the first thing Brother Griffin said? I got to hug you because I done watch you on YouTube. <laughs> so it is very powerful to know how much this vehicle is reconnecting the family. And that's why so many of y'all, every time we repost my interviews with my elder, y'all, the family, y'all, the cousin, y'all, Brother Chief Dub Warrior from Brackettville, y'all always have so many comments and people are so honored to hear the story, but you told a part of the story you ain't never told me before. Yesterday, when you said you used to be here in Florida, and your daughter who came with you was here now bringing you back to Florida, tell me how does it feel to you, as someone who really grew up in Brackettville, how does it feel to you to be back on Florida soil and be here with other Seminoles in Gullah Geechee? Well, it, 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 it's, uh, it's hard to say. I, I, uh, well, 
I mean, so much in my heart that I'm back in this area. I was sick. I, 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 they told me I couldn't come. I said, no. I said, I want to go. I was just telling uh, John that uh, I have ten generations of people. And the one that started it was back here during the time when it belonged to Spanish. Right, right. And my grandfather, great, great, great grandfather, his name was a Mexican, Guerrero. Guerrero. Which means warrior. Warrior. And he was the one that started it. My wife's grandfather, this is the time they were here and they only had the one name. And his name was July. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Julio. that's uh, Julio. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and then it goes to Tony Warrior, Anthony Warrior, Tony Anthony Warrior, and he's buried in our cemetery. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was just telling my daughter, then I was just telling uh, 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 the guys that I said, you know, uh, I wanted to do something, but she came and picked me up early because she was working mm -hmm. and took me to Fort Worth so she could get ready to come. But I wanted to go to our cemetery, mm -hmm. and uh, I was looking at, at the picture of the Seminole scouts. Right. Now, those one, those guys were standing there. The very first one, that picture went for years, and it had it. They had unknown on it. I come to find out it's Plenty Payne from, oh, really? from King Payne. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that was his family sitting there. Uh -huh. And that was their granddaddy. Right. And next to him was my wife's grandfather, grandfather. and her grandfather. Wow. And that was that was Billy July. Uh -huh. And I said, and look at the old man with the beat up hat like mine and that <laughs> Dembo factor. Dembo factor. And that's why I wear this hat because you were in the know if I didn't have my that's hat. That's right now. That's right. <laughs> Wherever I go, I'll be dressed up and have my good hat on. Where's your hat? I, I guess they call me the hat. Last time I was <laughs> the guy I had to go back to threw it back a couple of times, so I I, I missed my, my, my luggage. So I went back there and I had to take my hat on. So when the guy said the second time I said, ah, get back in here and take my clothes, I said, just took them off. He said, well, you went in the wrong section, so you, so you got to do, <laughs> do it again. So when I was leaving, the guy told me, goodbye, hat. <laughs> he didn't clutch my hat. But no, it's, uh, it's good to be here. See, when I was here in 1946, uh, I was in the service. I was 19, and I was at Pantymon City. I'm a long way from that. So uh, somebody asked me was northern or southern. I said, I don't know where I'm paying all city that's where I was. But uh, I wanted to come back here. This is my friend here. And you know, it seemed like I've been knowing these guys for years. And we had been conversing and everything. And I told him, I said, I wanted to go to Demo Factor's grave and get some dirt and send it back to him. Yeah. That's a good way. Don't yes. folks, you know, mm -hmm. you, you know, they had like, they got ashes now because yes. they burn you, you know. That's right. Mm -hmm. But, but, but uh, uh, now we used to use dirt. Yeah. Right. And that's, exactly. what I, that's what I intend to do right, right now. Right. You know, mm -hmm. as a maybe we had two or three of them down there from, from up here. Right. And send them back home. Send it back, right. Send it back exactly. home. How yeah, that sound? Yeah, that yeah. sounds great. Yeah. And it would be wonderful for you to send us some things for our archive. Yeah, right, so right, that we right. So we can have it at the Gulf right. Pictures, see our okay. commission archive along with the Yeah, we got a bunch of pictures, and, and I can send you pictures. Yeah, back. and I, I got to send you pictures back. Yeah, they told me, they called me, they called me and told me that uh, the girls from my sister's chairman from, uh, from uh, uh, St. Louis, Yeah, we're watching Queen quit. Oh, oh and I said, John, what? In bracket talking. That's right. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> you said it's on the YouTube. That's right. And so I haven't seen it yet, but yeah. no. But well, uh, you look good, though. I, look I, good feel, I feel pretty good most yeah. of the time for yeah. an old man, you know. That's all right. Yeah. You hanging in there. Because yeah. you got warrior blood. Yeah. So you yeah. can't right. do nothing else. Yeah. You're standing yeah. for it and holding on. No, right? No choice. That's why right. he ain't got no other uh, choice. Uh, so you know, no, but uh, uh, life is uh, until I said the Lord put me here for something special. And I went to South Carolina for it and was like, my daughter, 
Yeah. Uh, Hickory Forest, and she loves it. She went all the way up there and got we got up there and went to Buford and everything right. during the time we was up there. But we she never could find make us in hell. Joel Powell. Yeah. Uh, you know how Joel was. Yeah, he had he was. things kind of screwed yeah, up. Yeah, to try and keep y'all separated yeah. and keep y'all away yeah. from the How point. is Joel doing? I have no idea. I saw that they were supposed to give him some award. Somebody emailed me something. I have no they idea. You know, he makes sure not sometimes. to speak to me. Oh, y'all um, don't? Y'all you know, don't? He, don't, he don't speak to me. Y'all don't do it. Yeah. He don't speak to me. No, uh-uh. Because, oh, really? you know, I want to allow him to exploit the community, so he don't speak to me at all. Um, so he did, he makes sure if I'm speaking somewhere and he's speaking somewhere, he take whatever door he think I won't be coming in. That's what he does. He's been doing that for years. Mm -hmm. He tell people I ran him off St. Helena, and I said, good. Then if that's how you take okay. it, good. Because my thing is let the people tell their story. They yeah. respect that and, they and, have and, the ability to tell the, the story. And the thing about it, so, like I tell him, I said, hey, I'm making I'm make a movie about that. That's just all I said. Let me tell you something. I said, the good, the bad, and the other people. Right. Everything wasn't Everything good. Everything wasn't good. And don't make yes, it good. Well, you know how Hollywood said, well, don't no, do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Because exactly. I, I, uh, uh, this book that my friend wrote, Jeff Gwynn, mm -hmm. and he had, at the beginning, he sent me everything on it, and he said, now, where did you read this over? And if there's anything in there that you don't agree with. And the first thing he did, he said, uh, uh, Doug, used to be the president, but he's not Clarence Warren as the president. But at the old and the young, and they don't see eye to eye together. They don't get along. Mm -hmm. He said, can I put that in? I said, put it in. Put it That's in the way it is. Moves. Right. And yeah. then he went to <clears throat> Miss Charles Wilson. Mm -hmm. He went to uh, he went to see her. And he went to talking about the house and how the old air condition was grumbling. Sound like it was flashing with somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been doing it. Right. And then he said, she was all that and she had to put this wig on because he was coming and had it cooking. That's right. Had it cooking. And he said, it had that loud perfume like old women wear. <laughs> yeah. You know? And, and so my wife and them ready. They got mad. I said, it's the truth. Right. Hmm. It's the truth. If you want to really describe Tell somebody, the well, don't yeah. then they got a big I was right there. And don't say it. You can see it. When they wear a whole team. Right. You know right. why? You don't make you feel small. You ain't God. You can't yeah, do you that. You can't change it. That's right. But see, this is so important what you're saying now because I know that's part of why you do the reenactments, right, Brother mm -hmm. Bullock, is to mm -hmm. visualize the story because a lot of the younger folks can't necessarily connect. They're that's not going to sit there with a history book and read mm -hmm. that. They're not going to look at all the mm -hmm. little maps that all of us mm -hmm. look at and figure out the connection. But they will come and listen to you. And one of the things that you've got to be able to do is tell the facts but then bring it to life yeah. in yeah. a way. So now I know this weekend you're going to be doing more reenactments down at Fort Mosaic, yeah. right? And so tell me, We're how have things been going at Fort Mosaic? Have a lot of people been oh, coming like, to mm, learn more of the story? What's been happening? Year, year. Oh, no, no, maybe this week. We are, we are so oh, proud no. because we felt that Fort Mosaic mm -hmm. was kind of a battle line. Mm -hmm. All the elements were in place. There was archaeological right. facts. Mm -hmm. There was the historical documents. Right. There was a, a town that promotes itself on tourism. Right. Definitely. We said if we can't tell this story here, right. where because can where it? can you tell? <laughs> right. It? Exactly. And then we said with all of the different emerging sites, just like Fort Mose. Mm -hmm. That we're saying, well, we got this story, right. and and there's only two people left that can tell it. Mm -hmm. This was almost everywhere you went. went. Mm -hmm. So Fort Mosey became this thing where we had to convince people at many different levels. Right. Yes, this is the place. Right. Yes, this history did exist, mm -hmm. and yes, we do care enough about our history to support it. Absolutely. So the first reenactment we had, including guests, 450 people. Okay. The second one, 750 Excellent. people. Excellent. We will try and double that this year. Right. Because I think what's happening is that these stories resonate with people. Absolutely. We have, how many black actresses have been nominated to play maids? Huh. Okay. Right? Exactly. But, I want to say in the story right there, yeah. when we have hundreds of years mm -hmm. 
generations right. of people right. who were right there on the same stature as Harry Tubman, Absolutely right. Frederick Douglass, Absolutely. Abraham. Right. It finally dawned on me. I, I said, well, I don't know why I'd seen it on the pages, pages. Mm -hmm. but there's something about being in the footsteps right. where you know your people stood there, cried right. there, bled right. there, mm -hmm. protected. Right. So all of a sudden I felt the weight of the world in a sense on my yes. shoulders. Yes. It was basically saying, you don't stop until, right. until the story is told. You can say yeah. some more people That's know right. that. Mm -hmm. so, Last year, we had enough young people mm -hmm. that we actually got a request from the park ranger that young people will have to be supervised next year. Okay. And, and right. I kind of <laughs> chuckled because the, the young ones was wanting to take sticks. And, and do they things. They wanted to and drill park, and, right. you know, be, be soldiers. The soldiers. So, right. you know, we would, the reenactors would talk to them. We'd say, okay, if we had a time machine, Mm -hmm. And we went back 271 years. Mm -hmm. There are some kids right. just like, like you, you. Mm -hmm. standing right there just like right. you are now. At the fort. At the fort, mm -hmm. talking about can we be in the battle, battle too? too. Mm -hmm. And all the older people going, oh, oh Lord, Lord have mercy. Put you this only job. nine you and a half for you yet. trying <laughs> to be 15. <laughs> exactly. Calm and, down. And Make I know turn. your mom. Yeah. Your mom will kill me if you, if get you hurt. go out there. So come on. So, <laughs> but we told them the story and the yes. fact you could not get them away. away. Mm -hmm. So it hit me that these stories are powerful because they are real. Absolutely. Right. And the lag that they talk about from test scores and graduation, right. this is the bridge. This is the bridge. Right? We've right. talked about the gap, we've right. talked about the chains. Right. This is the freedom. Absolutely. This right. is and the resistance. And the resistance. Right. This is the wisdom Absolutely. that's been handed down to all, all of us. us. Mm -hmm. Like you can just like when you said the perfume, I was with in my grandmother's house. Oh, that's right, oh, smelling it. Mm -hmm. Thirty exactly. seconds there, right. right? And and the material she used See, to have right. on and the her flowers and, and all that thing, mm -hmm. because I know she would never want me to forget. Right. Mm -hmm. And I also would like to believe that when we are together in these places, mm -hmm. that they are there with us too. Absolutely. And they're saying. Thank you. You helped made it whole. That's right. You you helped gather some of these seeds. Absolutely. It, it would be like if if the world had amnesia. Mm-hmm. And, and it does. Right. <laughs> right. And we ha each had a vessel that was filled with seeds. Yes. And we walk to town and everybody's starving and they go, "What you got?" You go, "I got a vessel full seeds. of seeds." Right. Go oh, well. Too bad. You got too bad for you. You too got bad seeds. For you. Yeah, right. I'm going over to McDonald's. Right. And we got the seeds, seeds. for the next generation. Absolutely. It can't be more value. And That's right. And it's very few people that think enough mm -hmm. of the past mm -hmm. to try to okay. translate yeah. to the future. Absolutely. That's right. right. And, and but you got to do it now. And let me tell you what's happened to me. My age is. People are almost all gone my age. So they were there when these things were happening, but I can't discuss it with them and bring their memories back. Yeah. And what I forget, uh, my wife gives me problems now. We're the same age. We came to the same age. But I asked her something. I said, well, you know, did you remember? Did you get straight? What? Don't go there. Oh, she don't I, I, want to no, talk no, about it. Well, she don't remember. Oh, she don't she remember. It. remember. Okay. And it upsets right. her. Why yeah. you ask me that? I said, right. Right. Look around. There's nobody here. Yeah, yeah that's you. you. See, and right. if you, I can't you remember have, it, and you can't you remember, remember it. It's gone. It's gone. So it's here's gone. You where can't look I back and pick it up. Where right. I think we are is that these generations have passed. Mm -hmm. If we found each other. Yes. How would God allow our history to be lost? That's, That's right. 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 When All you of our souls can we be talking about the history right. over so many, so many times. You know. so as long you as we care and breathe, right. 
But he told me. Now we take the that. modern technology. Exactly. And plant and the seeds from we here. Plant the seeds right into, the into the time that time oh, they were spread. And then if somebody tells me, I'm from New York City, I only got a minute. That's right. Then I'm going to work with that. You still got that minute. Seconds. That's right. I'm going to work that 60 seconds. And, and that person is going to walk away from me go, thank you. Exactly. That's the best that's minute that I had, I had all, day. all day. And the thing is, it's just like you said, that 60 seconds that you might take with that person from New York City and share that story, you planted that seed with them. And now the next somebody going to work out the weeds from that seed. And the next somebody going to go pour the water on that seed. And then it's all going to grow. Because somebody hadn't planted a seed in him, planted a seed in him, planted a seed in me, and planted a seed in you. We wouldn't have thought enough to be here today. Right. We so would have passed we each other in the shopping mall. There you go. Right. Oh, like you or said. Some right. Oh, like you said, at McDonald's up there trying to stuff something down <laughs> <laughs> instead of something that grew out the ground. But this is so critical because this is why we have Gullah Geechee TV Nation News. And so that the world yeah. knows our story. And they hear it from us because too long he been telling the story, and in his story we often in, left in, out. In the oh, and, and, and there you go. And so it's so critical. And that analogy of the seed, mm -hmm. I'm still a planter. I still plant my food. I still harvest my food. So when you said seed, you were right there in my house. I was right in my field and right there planting them seeds. And so, Hunter Chiller. I ain't care if one of the kind you this central Florida. I ain't care if one of the kind you up this your part of Florida and the southeastern coast, the northeastern part of Florida. And one of the going all the way to Tejas or you go in Mexico, Bahamas, any of these your place now. The Virgin Islands, one of the no, all of we be going to get your anointed people and the Seminole who been the free one, who been to fight back the whole punny culture back yonder and Hunter can see. We still the fight for them now. And so we're so glad and we thank God for this young woman. And we have start off praying that we circle in gonna never be broken and that we story gonna always be told. And we thank God for bringing me together to be able to do this show. And we know God gonna keep blessing me. And now we done plant the seed with Hunter children who done yet all the this year. So go on out in the field now and like the song say, stay in the field. Stay in the field, stay in the field until the war is ended. And the war that we the fight for make sure we story tell ain't over. Y'all keep them growing, chillin'. Keep that seed growing. We're so glad that God blessed this your family. And Hunter Chillin' know this year the Queen Quet, head punny body, the Gullah Geechee Nation. And Hunter know when Hunter day with me, Hunter gonna know this year the work going on. Peace. Blessing, power to all the Gully Geechee and Seminole family. We love you. When I've been to this alone, years ago, Christian, every Saturday morning, come up on fish lines, with a big box, walking along the neighborhood. And I've got 50 pieces one way, I'm going to go.